Yeah, I, I assume no one's speaking up, so I'm assuming that you can all hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, very good. So, hello, I'm John. It's nice to uh, see all your names on the screens. I can't see any of your faces, but uh, I trust that you're all there. So, um, as we get going, hello. Uh, as we get going, I have a little legal uh, lingo to give you. Um, this class is being recorded. And uh, you do take responsibility for yourself by attending the class and participating in the virtual class um, that is being offered to you by Inner Fire Yoga. And in doing so, you release Inner Fire Yoga and any and all instructors from liabilities. So that being said, let's get on with it. So go ahead and find yourself in whatever seated position works for you today. And simply take your time to settle in is it is a nice, mellow Saturday afternoon. We have no hurries. And as you find your seat, simply allow yourself a few breaths as you settle into that seat. And as you find that seat, I wanna do a little breath work with you. I'm not sure if you're aware if you've ever seen this before. And the name of it eludes me, so I'm sorry, I can't give you a little more information to follow in with, but we're gonna alternate sides of our nostrils as we breathe. So taking your hands with the simple thumb and then the ring and pinky finger, we're simply gonna use one or the other to block one side of the nose and leave the other side open. So rather than, and I'll get a little closer so you can see, rather than pressing against the side of your nose, simply place the thumb underneath or the ring finger underneath like that. So that way you're not actually compressing the nostril, you're just blocking the flow of air. And as we move back and forth from one side to the other, simply move the hand and the fingers for the nostrils themselves. So me being right-handed, I will take my right thumb and place it underneath my right nostril and breathe in deeply through the left side. Once I get to the top of the breath, I will switch sides to block out the left nostril and breathe that inhalation out through the right. Once I get to the bottom of that breath, keep the hands how they are and now breathe in through the right, switching sides and Breathe out through the left. Keep the hands, breathe in through the left. Switch sides, breathe out through the right. Keep the hands, breathe in through the right and out through the left. Come to the bottom of the exhalation, breathe in through the left. Switching sides and out through the right. So moving back and forth at your pace. Switching sides at the top of the breath and holding sides at the bottom of the breath allowing the breath to move freely and deeply through both sides of the body, allowing you to find a little bit of equilibrium behind both sides of the brain. Allowing yourself to find a little balance between the logical parts of your brain in the creative parts of your brain. Breathing in deeply with each one, exhaling fully, pushing all that air away, bringing in fresh energy and exhaling out old stale energy. 
Go ahead and take a few more here. And take one more on each side. And once you find that one more on each side, simply allow the hands to fall down to the side, maybe resting on your legs or simply down to the floor. Find your comfortable seat. Go ahead and shut down the eyes and we'll take a quick exhale out just to put us all on the same page. Breathing in deeply through both sides of the nose. Exhaling out. Breathing in deeply. And exhaling out. One more time, breathe in and exhale to let it go. Allowing to hyperoxygenate the blood, bringing in some fresh energy. And as you fall in to what is your natural breath, not forcing that breath, pushing it out or pulling it in with any unnatural force. And as you find that natural breath, with each inhale, try to visualize a deep blue in your eyes, drawing in that breath. And that blue gets deeper and deeper, just like the ocean. Focusing that breath right up through the nose, right into that spot, right between your eyes. Focusing some attention on that third eye chakra. The chakra that allows you a little bit of intuition, a little bit of insight, an awareness of what's going on around you and with others. And as you breathe in deeply and draw that blue energy in, the crown of the head rises up nice and tall with a nice tall spine. Take one big more inhale in, drawing yourself up nice and tall, holding for a second at the top and exhale to let it go. Now that we've established that blue energy guiding our sight, exhale and try to visualize red as you do. Should be easy to do as we breathe in cool air, the blue comes natural. And as we exhale out the heat of our body, the red comes natural too. The red being our root chakra, the one that everything else is built on finding strength in your own base. Breathing in the blue and breathing out the red. Breathing in intuition into the world around you and breathing out a stable base for other people as well as yourself. Finding stability in troubling times, making it easier to pass through these troubling times and allow them to move along and leave us in a more peaceful place.
And in these troubling times where we might find it hard to find stability, there are other people that are thriving. We have to be aware of the intentions of those people that are thriving. That's where we need our insight. So that way we can see or into it, the people around us and to what, to what end they are approaching you. Finding base in your stability so that way you're not swayed by people that might be trying, trying to pull the wool over your eyes, so to speak. Finding stability in yourself and insight to the world around you. but also providing a little bit of intuition to look at other people that maybe don't have the strength and the base that you have that are maybe acting out because they don't have that base and they're simply stressed beyond belief. You look at those people with a little bit of compassion Every situation is trying for each of us. And the stronger your base is, the easier it is for you to weather that storm. So noticing someone that may be acting out, they simply don't have a base underneath them. Take a few more of these deep breaths, drawing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Sending the crown of the head nice and tall on the inhale and rooting down into your seat on the exhale. Take one more here at your own pace and exhale it all the way out. And as you let it go, allow the chin to fall towards the chest. Crown of the head comes forward towards your screen, finding a little bit of stretch through the backside of the neck. The shoulders fall away from the ears as the arms hang heavy. And on your next inhale, draw up the crown of the head towards the ceiling, finding length through the back of the neck. And on an exhale, go ahead and gently open up the eyes bringing yourself back into the world. And allow yourself to fall back into your natural breath. Taking a few moments here to give a little bit of silent thanks to the things that you are grateful for. and a little bit of asking for a little bit of inspiration or strength from the universe or whoever you draw your strength from to help guide you through each and every day as we move into our new normal. Thank you for spending this time with me and I hope that you have a great day. I'm gonna turn the mute off so if anyone would like to uh, like to say something, you can feel free to do so. Oops. Oh. Thank you, John. That was lovely. Thank you.
fire gallery view. Okay, there we are. All right, so there's only three of us left. Yeah, you can go ahead and um, close out the meeting whenever you'd like, and then that file will render to our cloud drive. Okay, do you want end meeting or stop record? Um, it, the recording will stop as soon as you end the meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thanks, John. Thank Let's you. Stop. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Bye.